Rehab Psych is a study of people with disabilities, but it's more than just a dis disability, you're studying the whole person. On a broader scale, it deals with rehabilitation counseling. When you're able, when you're able to work with individuals who are disabled, um, whether it's to improve their uh, motor abilities, their verbal abilities, or their mental abilities. So with Rehab Psych, um, there is a really broad range of directions you could go. Um, obviously the big one is being a vocational rehabilitation specialist, um, helping people with disabilities um, get back in the job, job force. So Rehab Psych basically is for people who want to go in the profession of a helping profession to help uh, individuals with disabilities overcome um, and also regain quality of life and find job, job opportunities in the work field and just help them cope with their disability better. A lot of people that's in rehab psych aren't in it to be physical therapists or occupational therapists, which is when I first was introduced to rehab psych, I was thinking about physical therapy. Um, but then I began to learn more about rehab psych and realized I could do rehab counseling and actually counsel um, individuals, whether it be young or old, um, on how to have a better life. Um, but majority of the people that's in rehab psych do go into uh, graduate programs for, for physical therapy and occupational therapy as well. I was actually shadowing an occupational therapist um, back home in Minnesota who graduated from here in rehab psych and then um, with a graduate degree in occupational therapy. Um, and she said to check out the program. It was incredible. The professors were some of her favorite. I got excited about rehab psych when I got the opportunity to volunteer at an elementary school to work with people with disabilities. And I loved working with the children and being able to help them, to tutor them, to play in the playground with them, and just interact with them in general. I love it. I was a physical therapist technician for about like three years. A lot of patients were talking to me about, yeah, my leg might be injured now, but I just have so many uh, so many thoughts in my head, uh, I, I'm depressed, um, basically I have a hard time finding a job, and just, just learning more about the patients and talking to them that way just made me realize that sometimes when an injury uh, occurs in someone's life, or maybe they just had a quiet disability, it's more than physical. Um, and I wanted to work with individuals, help treat them psychologically. There will be two internships that we have to take. You could um, internship at an elementary school, at a nursing home, um, in, any, in any area that you would like, basically with people with disabilities. In the class right now that I'm taking Rehab Psych 501 and 630, which are I'm an internship-based class and a combi class like that correlates with each other, um, the 630 is where you actually go out and intern at a specific site of your choice, and the 501 course is where you could actually discuss what you're doing at, inter at your internship. Uh, I interned at the Juvenile Detention Center. So being able to intern here and work with these youth um, who, who have behavioral disorders, uh, which is a form of a disability, who have um, ADHD, which is a form of disability, I'm able to interact with them and help get them on a different path. For someone who is in high school and thinking about going into rehab psych, I would highly recommend that they take AP Psychology in high school if they have the opportunity. If you're interested in just how the mind works, um, you definitely, if you like talking to individuals, um, help them overcome their problems. If you're a good listener, this would be a very good field for you to go into. When I'm done with my rehab psych undergraduate degree, I plan on going into the master's program for occupational therapy, and I'm looking to possibly be working in elementary school. After I get my master's in rehabilitation counseling, I uh, plan to work for about a year being a rehabilitation counselor just to gain experience in that field, and then I plan to go back to get my PhD in rehabilitation psychology. Because I can work in a school setting, I can work in a prison setting, juvenile setting. I can actually work in a hospital to where I work with individuals with disabilities personally. Um, you know, I can even go at go as private counseling to where I can work one on one and have my own business to uh, to to conduct different rehabilitation processes and counseling with individuals as well. So, this this field. This major broadens, is very broad on what you can do. You can actually manipulate it how you want to and find your way to make it benefit you for what you really enjoy doing.